Sports, news, smack, Rome, only on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back to Rome. My guest tonight made last year's Pro Bowl as a rookie while tying the single-season record for punt return touchdowns. Arizona Cardinals cornerback Patrick Peterson joins us. Patrick, good to have you. How are you? How you doing, Jim? I'm doing great on my end. All right, good. I'm great on this end. Good to have you back. You had an amazing year returning punts last year. You tied that record with four touchdowns. Is that where you're looking to make your mark, or are you looking to do it as a shutdown corner? Um, no, I was definitely blessed to, to make my mark as, as a punt returner, but I'm definitely looking to make a, a huge mark and stamp at the cornerback position. You know, I have a great opportunity in front of me this year going against a, a lot of great former pro bowler um, in the league. So I'm definitely looking to make my mark as a shutdown corner this year. All right, so when you made the adjustment last year to returning kicks or punts, it didn't seem like it was a big adjustment. You did what you've always done. Talk about playing corner, though. When you got to the NFL last year, how different was it on the island there as compared to the way it was in LSU? Oh, it's a, man, it's like night and day. You know, playing cornerback in this league is, is definitely different playing at the college level because um, you definitely have to be tuned in each and every down. Um, no matter how good you are, quarterbacks are going to come after you. They know how to put the ball in tight windows and put it in tight, fine uh, spaces as well. You know, um, but, you know, it, it's, it's a learning curve. And it's, it's a process that you have to go through, especially as a young guy thrown into the fire early. You know, it's something I love. I love that type of pressure, and um, I'm definitely going to be better than what I was last year. All right, so in terms of that learning curve, how much more confident and how much more comfortable are you right now as compared to this time last year? I mean, I'm 10 times more comfortable and have 10 times more confidence within myself going into year two for myself. Hey Patrick, I got to say, your teammates say this about you. I've even talked to you before, and I've felt the same way. You don't come off as somebody who's only in the second year of an NFL career. They talk about your veterans' vibe. I mean, you come off as somebody who's been there much longer than you've been there. Where does that come from? Uh, it comes from my, my dad. My dad and my mom, you know, um, being brought up by my grandparents, just always staying humble and just being the person that continue to uh, being the person that I can be uh, to continue to, to, to strive for, to be the best that I can be in the position that I am. And, and, and just always respect my elders. You know, although I am a young guy, we have a lot of veterans here that, uh, that helped me um, help me uh, succeed in this league and succeed in last year. But, you know, I just take my hats off to those guys and my families as well. All right, so you talk about the veterans. One of them's got to be Adrian Wilson. He's been back there a long time. He's a huge presence in the secondary. He's patrolled it for a long time. <laughs> Do you feel like now it's your time or is it not going to be your time to be the man until Adrian decides it's time for him to go? Oh, man. Uh, whenever Adrian decides to hang up the, the cleats, I, I believe that's when he'll pass me the torch because Adrian, he, has a, he definitely has a lot left in the tank. He's playing at a high level year in and year out. You know, I'm, I'm happy that he's on our, on our team. He's, like you said, he's a huge force in our defense. He's a very smart player, intelligent, and um, he's definitely a, a, key, a key point in this defense as well to, to help us and keep us going at a, as a unit. All right, what about Larry Fitzgerald? Another huge leader on the other side of the ball, I have to think. Going up against that guy daily in practice has got to be an obvious benefit to you. What's it done for you to go up against him in practice? Hands down, I mean, Larry is definitely getting me better each and every day. You know, going against him, if not the best receiver in the league each and every day, it's a challenge. And, you know, and, and playing games on Sundays, I believe that will definitely get me prepared to, to, to uh, be prepared to guard those top-notch receivers like uh, Megatron, uh, Chad Johnson, um, Brandon Marshall, all those guys. Uh, Larry definitely are, is getting me prepared for those type of receivers week in and week out. You see, and those are the guys you get. You're going to get everybody's number one. You go back to your first year. Who was your toughest cover last year? Uh, my toughest coverage? Uh, I have to probably go with um, Crabtree. You know, I had to see him twice a year. Um, the first week, well, the first time we met up, he gave, I, I believe he, he got the best of me. But the second time, I believe I got the best of him. So it's a, it's a one and one right now between me and Mr. Crabtree, but um, it's going to be a fun battle going, to go, going up against him again this year. Yeah, it's funny. You guys are supposed to have a really short memory. It sounds like you have not forgotten about that battle. It sounds like you've got that one filed away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, he, he, he's, the type, he's the guy that um, he's shifty. Um, he gave me a, a bunch of different looks, but, you know, as a young corner, I had to learn how to adapt to what he was trying to do and how he was trying to attack me. And I had a better game plan the second time around. Hey, Patrick, as a young punt returner, in fact, when you were at LSU, you used to say to the guys, give me five yards, I will see you in the end zone. When you first got to Arizona, I mean, I know you were still thinking that. Did you tell the guys the same thing, just give me five yards? 
Oh, yeah, I definitely told those guys, just give me five yards. Just give me a, a, a little bit of space to breathe, catch the ball, and to, to scan the field a little bit and see what I got have in front of me. And that's what those guys bought into. You know, I, I told those guys maybe once, and those guys bought into um, and, and to help me get getting myself into the end zone. You know, and without 10 guys, those 10 guys in front of me making it happen, I'm, I probably wouldn't even be in the record books right now. So um, my hat goes off to the 10 guys in front of me that continue to, to work their butts off each and every down. All right, you're there. It's good to have you back. Patrick, appreciate the visit. Thank you very much. We'll do it again soon. I know probably see you soon. You got it. Sports, news, smack, Rome. Only on CBS Sports Network.